Uncle Bo's is a uh, southern style barbecue eatery, so we do multi-regional barbecue and southern comfort foods. It's kind of a, there was a niche in the market here for uh, soul food, southern food, and also for a smokehouse. My fiance had bought me a smoker, and next thing you know, I was smoking everything I could get my hands on. Milk, beets, eggs, it didn't matter. And uh, a neighbor of mine came over and asked if uh, I smoked brisket. I said, yeah, he tried it. And, Asked me to cater his son's birthday party. I did that, and then the next thing you know, everyone at the party wanted my wanted my number for catering. So it just kind of took off from there. I was like, "Well, I'm on to something." We've got a Texas style, East Texas style brisket. We've got uh, Texas style beef ribs, uh, big bone beef ribs, um, uh, Carolina style pulled pork, Memphis dry rub ribs, um, and then we do like collard greens, baked beans, mac and cheese. Uh, we do Cajun jambalaya rice. Uh, I'll be moving on the menu gumbo at, at some point. So a lot of the southern staple foods are soul foods. He spends so much time smoking the meat. It's just like fall off the bone. It's just so tender. That's a, what really makes a difference here is the, how tender things are and it's so flavorful. I don't know what he puts on as a rub, but it's uh, really great. Really, I love it. We want people to try the food before they buy it, so we offer free samples. You don't have to spend any money. If you don't like the food, no hard feelings. Um, and then the pizzas, uh, I, I don't know, I was just, I was messing around in the kitchen one day and started thinking, oh, a brisket pizza would be good, so I test recipe like five, six different brisket or pizzas. And then what I came down to was really good, so it's a 50-50 barbecue sauce, homemade barbecue sauce, homemade pizza sauce, mixed for the base, um, and then we chunks of brisket. Um, thin sliced baby bells, thin sliced red onions, and then we top it with fresh grated Parmesan, uh, pearl mozzarella, and then hit it with uh, horseradish cheddar cheese. And it's, it's a gourmet pizza, and it just started flying off the shelves. We got voted the number one pizza in Bullhead City because we came out with them. So then, you know, there was the pulled pork pizza, we do a barbecue chicken pizza, and we do a smoked sausage pizza. We do about 25 briskets a day. Uh, we do 100 to 135 slabs of ribs a day. We do. 25 to 30 shoulders, um, 30 chickens, whole chickens, um, and I think it's like 10 pounds of smoked sausage and hot links off the smokers right now. And wings, we smoke our wings here too. There's no one favorite thing, you know, we love Bo, we love the food. You can't get a bad meal here. You know, it's a southern style barbecue eatery. I wanted to incorporate moonshine into, into the menus. and. With all the new flavors of moonshine, peach, apple, apple pie, uh, blueberry, blackberry, we, we decided to buy some of those moonshines and come up with our own drinks. And we've got, I think we've got like 12 different varieties of um, drinks that are featured around moonshine. And again, we let people sample it and uh, see what they think of it. And we don't give them big samples of it. Um, but we do, we give them the samples of it and see what they think of it. And, and these moonshine drinks, base moonshine drinks are just flying off the shelf. I love it, I wouldn't have it any other way. I try to treat every customer that walks through these doors like they're a family member. In fact, that's in my employee manual, my handbook. You know, I want every one of my servers to approach these people like this is a, your, your, your aunt, your uncle, your grandmother. And uh, you know, I train my kitchen staff the same way. Be proud of what you're sending out. You know, if you wouldn't send that out to your grandmother or mother, don't send it out of my kitchen because you know, you wouldn't want it. So it's kind of the way we, we treat it. I know that cliche when you hear your family, but it really is the truth. We try to be anyway.